Hey everybody, two alpha gals here. I'm Debbie Nichols. And I'm Candace Mathis. And you're listening to In the Tall Grass, where we're sharing stories of reinvention, resilience, and rediscovering joy. Whether it's facing alpha gal syndrome or any other redefining chapter of life, we all have to learn how to navigate the journey through the tall grass. So here we go. You may have heard we have some new music welcoming you into our podcast. And we are so excited to share that that music was actually composed and produced by someone here in our alpha gal community. And not only is he in our alpha gal community, but he has become one of our friends. And we are so honored to have Nick Dungo compose and produce our beautiful intro and outro music that you're hearing today. So thank you, Nick, for all that you do for our community. So we're excited to share that we are starting a brand new podcast series here to sort of mix in with our regular interviews that we're calling Tick Bites. Yep, that's B Y T E S. <laughs> Good <laughs> distinction. <laughs> yeah, so we're hoping to sort of present some more condensed information to you in a shorter period of time just to mix things up a little bit. And today we're going to start by talking about our food allergy mentorship program because we've gotten a lot of interest in it and we just sort of wanted to answer some of the more frequent questions that we're getting. So we want to talk to you about what it is, why we're doing it what's included and go from there. I guess we start first with why we developed the program, because there's a lot of reasons behind this. And it really is sort of meeting some of the needs that Candace and I wish that we'd had when we were sort of learning ropes. And the idea behind this is that our goal is to help you who are participating in anything that we're doing, shorten the distance between when you started experiencing your symptoms to the point where you are actually finding joy again in navigating your life. And so the Food Allergy Mentorship Program is designed to do just that. It's to help provide you answers, provide you education without the normal overwhelm that comes with reading medical journals online and talking to multiple doctors and trying to navigate this on your own because there is so much to navigate. <laughs> yeah, so much to navigate. And I think, you know, We've lived it firsthand of walking out the door of any practitioner's office, whether you're, you've just received a diagnosis or you're still on the search for that. And there's only so much time and information that they can give you. So we're hoping to bridge the gap in giving people the guidance and the tools to take the step out of the office and back into living their life, even though it may look different, but <laughs> <laughs> to be the guides, to be that bridge for us. Yes. Others. That's a great way to say it. And it always makes me think back to my phone call from my allergist office where she said, Oh, you're positive for alpha gal syndrome. So don't eat beef. And I was like, okay. And I had no idea where to go from there. Right. And it took having a really horrible reaction a few months later, an anaphylactic reaction. In fact, for me to realize how badly this was really needed. And it's a beautiful thing to watch the growth of awareness of alpha gal syndrome in those three or four years since you and I have been diagnosed, but it doesn't mean that it's always easy to navigate the information that's out there. That's the idea behind why we developed the program. Absolutely. And I think every situation is a little bit different. I think everyone can kind of relate to that, that no, no person is going to have the exact exact same experience as the next person. There could be other underlying factors or complexities. And so that's why we also chose to offer this program to help give people a curated experience based off of what their individual needs are. So this might be a good time to segue into who the program is for. So Debbie, who's the program for? Everyone. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> it's for anyone who has alpha gal syndrome, but not only that, it's for anyone caring for or living with someone else who has it. Anybody who wants to learn more. Yeah, no, that's fantastic. In your <laughs> Darth Vader voice. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, you know, anyone who wants to learn more about this, we have three tiers of service, um, but we really can start anywhere. I think that was one of the main questions when looking through the information. Um, we kind of tiered it out, but 
based off of the discovery call that we have, we determine where you kind of fit within that. And again, this is a personalized approach. So we can kind of pull from the various tiers to fit your needs. And um, it's a six week session. And then after that, you decide if the program has been beneficial and would like to continue. And then we can kind of add on from there. Yeah. Yeah. And what's neat about this is that we really realized that it is going to be individual for every single person. So some people need more help on say uh, navigating labels in the grocery store or cooking. And some people need more help with figuring out how to be their own advocate or speaking to their medical professionals. And so the idea is to figure out where you are in this journey and work from there and work on your weaker spots and pay less attention to the spots where you feel you're stronger. And we do that through not only the discovery call that Candace mentioned, but then we also start out with a couple of questionnaires, you know, both sort of assessing your skills to figure out where you do feel weak or strong, where you do feel like you need more work. And then also kind of asking where you feel you fall. This isn't going to be a decision that we make on our own. This is going to be a decision that we make together where you'd like to start with this and where you'd like to go. You know, we know that everyone has expectations. And so we want to know what you as the person taking advantage of this program would like to get out of this as well. Right. Thank you for saying that, Debbie, because that is a huge part of this where we want the people that are taking advantage of this program to be active participants in this as well. So we're, again, we come back to the word guides because that's something that we just don't have on our own. And so, yes, so we kind of provide the tools to help you assess where you are on the journey. And then we help navigate the areas that you need a little extra support on. Yes, exactly. So maybe we should talk a little bit about what we plan to include in the program, what we've started including with the people who are already taking advantage of it. As Candace mentioned, the idea was to do six week blocks. And for each of those weeks, we have a weekly virtual check-in. And during that time, we have a mentor session where we address specific topics and questions. We have a outline of the topics that we want to cover and what is important in those, in those topics to to understand clearly. But again, it's a curated, I'll call it a two-on-one guidance on these topics. And so we pull from here what's most important to you. Right. And that would include survival, food, home and personal care products, self-care, support, and all the way to adventure. And along with that, we have printable pages to help you build what we're calling your personal AlphaGal food and wellness journal. And so you will literally be able to build out a journal, a binder, if you will, that will have all of the resources that you need to keep track of your progress through each session. And then you can really start to pinpoint if you're still experiencing reactions. And then all of this just will help to monitor, you know, what you're eating, um, how your sleeping patterns are, where you're finding joy your gratitude, self-care, you know, we really go into all the things that we have found to be really important in our healing journey. And we just want to help you map that out as well. You know, we've been putting together so much information, right? Stuff that we would have liked to have had all this time. A lot of that you can already find on our website between the blog. You know, we talk a lot about it in the podcast. We talk a lot about it everywhere. In fact, in our interviews and stuff, But then we've been creating these new guides that are there to sort of assist with emergency care, you know, like what happens when you go to the emergency room, having your entire plan in place, but also, you know, speaking to your doctors and family members, because that's a huge point of stress for so many people, you know, me included, it's not always easy to speak to professionals who should know more about AlphaGal than you do, but don't necessarily, or ones that do know AlphaGal, but don't necessarily see it from your perspective. And it's certainly worth bringing up talking to family members and other, you know, your other support network, because it's hard to communicate all the complications that come along with living with AlphaGal syndrome, right? It's hard to go to a party and say, okay, I'd love to come, but I can't have this and I can't have this and you can't burn candles. You can't have plugins. You can't, you know, do you have pets? There's all these things that different people need. And so the idea was to sort of create some tools, if you will, some resources that help you navigate how to establish your plan for doing these things. 
And, and I think we're seeing with our clients right now that going through this process is actually helping to build confidence and empowerment with each person. So then they feel more empowered to be their own advocate, more confident to speak to not only their family and friends, but to restaurant staff and to really anyone that they encounter. So our our main goal, I would say with this is to help people feel confident in walking this once they leave our six-week program. That's right. And I think it's worth noting that some of these things are especially stressful right now around the holidays. You know, there's lots of family time together. We're all trying to get a certain number of things done, right? And so we feel like this is a good time to sort of start this part of your journey, whether it's during the holidays or it's immediately after when you get to start to come down from all of that. So if you're interested in this, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We're here to help you and help you navigate alpha-gal syndrome and, and offer you what we've learned along the way. Yep. So we look forward to hearing from you. Happy holidays. Thank you for joining us today on In the Tall Grass. Visit us at twoalphagals.com that's T W O alphagals.com. Or you can find us on Instagram and Facebook at Two Alpha Gals. If you enjoyed listening, please leave a review and help us grow this community. We're all faced with obstacles on our journey, whether it be food allergies or tick borne diseases. You might outgrow the reactions, but you won't outgrow the person you become. Ticks suck, but life doesn't have to.